Well, it was only a matter of time, right? For the second time this week, a notice went out to Idaho lawmakers that members of the Idaho Senate have tested positive for COVID. This was the concern for some lawmakers heading into the session, and we spoke with Idaho Democrats before the session who told us they thought this session should have been postponed until a vaccine was more readily available. Well, that didn't happen, neither the postponement nor the availability of the vaccine. So now what? Joe Paris spoke with members of the Idaho Senate about the COVID developments. So we received one Monday morning and then another one again today. On back-to-back -back days, members of the Idaho Senate received a letter telling them that one of their colleagues has tested positive for coronavirus. Virtually the same letter, 24 hours apart. It's exactly the same, and, and no names are mentioned. We know who they are, but yeah, but we have we now have two senators who have tested positive. Democrat Senator Janie Ward Engelking explains what she was thinking when she saw the letters. I need to get a COVID test <laughs> as quick as I can. Engelking says the good news is that Idaho lawmakers can get daily COVID tests through Boise State with turnaround results in about a day. That gives me a little comfort, but we're kind of doing the COVID dance around here for sure. Sort of the assumed risk, and it's, you know, it's pretty isolated at this point. Um, so, you know, we, we believe we can manage it. President Pro Tem, Republican Senator Chuck Winder says there is heightened awareness about COVID protocols at the State House as focus remains on getting work done. Everybody right now has said, let's step up the protocols and, you know, be more aware and uh, wash our hands, social distance, uh, wear masks when you're close to other people. And, so I think, you know, people are going to do what they can to make sure they're safe and stay healthy while they're here so we can get our business done and go home. As Winder mentioned, Engelking says lawmakers know that they're taking a risk by going to the Capitol every day. For her, though, Engelking wants to make sure her constituents are being represented. We're, we're doing what we can do, but there, you know, it's still a risk and there are still people that are, are in the Capitol that uh, aren't you know, aren't convinced that uh, that they need to follow those guidelines. So we just do the best we can. Some lawmakers have voiced concerns about the pace of the session. Some argue that in the midst of a pandemic, crucial business like budgets and aid money for Idahoans should be taken up and finished while other things could realistically wait. I, I want us to move a little quicker and do those things and then if we have time to do something later then that's okay. But I'm worried that we're spending our time debating some bills right now that aren't critical to the state of Idaho. I think we're going to try and get our work done and be on time where, you know, our target date is uh, last Friday in March. And if everything goes well, we should be able to, you know, hit that date. We'll get the work done people want us to get done. It may not appear like it at the time, but uh, it'll get done. The ending goal is a little more than a month away. For now, no word on any changes to COVID protocols at the State House. There is encouragement, though, from some lawmakers for everyone to tighten up their habits. We, we just are doing the best we can to keep safe and follow all the guidelines. I assume that means a lot of virtual meetings, possibly people kind of spreading out in their offices. But we all know how this kind of spreads exponentially, right, Joe? So they worried it's going to start being a kind of a more aggressive spread throughout the state house. Well, they're certainly keeping a, a really close eye on it right now, Brian. Uh, Senator Winder saying that, as you heard in the story, that right now it is isolated to those two cases. Something that I spoke with, though, uh, with Senator Ward Engelking is that they're not necessarily as worried about the senators as they are as some of the legislative services staff. You could have somebody come fill in for a senator and vote on their behalf, but some of the, the budget analysts and some of the service members that work with LSO, legislative services, they work to really make sure that the bills being drafted are sound and someone if they're missing from that staff is a lot harder to replace than a senator on the floor. And this isn't the first time and we've had a handful of cases up to this point or this makes a handful of cases I should say is that right? Yeah, we had some uh, some staff members in both houses that had tested positive for COVID, but now that we're seeing lawmakers testing positive, Brian, that raised an eye for more people. Exactly. All right, until it hits home, I guess you don't really pay attention. All right, thanks, Joe.